In this video, I'm going to take you through the remaining steps to complete the wet felted design. At this point in our project, we're all done with our hot soapy water and I do have some left and sometimes I have a lot left. What I'll do is save this and just add to it for the next time. You don't need to throw it out. Put that aside. We're going to put our tool back on our project. And we're going to take our bamboo placemat and place that on top of our project. And we're going to take our pool noodle and place that on our project. And what we're going to do is take everything, bubble wrap, felt, tool, placemat, everything, roll it up in the, with the pool noodle inside it, just like this. And then we're going to take our stockings. These are just pantyhose that I cut the legs off of. And they make great ties. And I'm going to tie a bow. Don't tie a knot because you have to keep checking your project and a knot is hard to get out. So tie a bow and it holds well. Okay. Now this part, um, you'll get some exercise with this part because you're going to be doing this over and over and over again. You're putting pressure on this and uh, rolling it. And one great thing about this is that if you have a Fitbit, like I do, it counts these as steps because I'm rocking back and forth as I'm rolling. I'm rocking back and forth from one foot to the other and getting some exercise. Now before I start doing this, I'm going to put, you don't need gloves, but I'm going to put a glove on because this is wet and soapy and I want to protect my Fitbit. So I'm going to put this glove on, and, yeah, just like Michael Jackson, and I'm going to just start rolling. And I'm going to do this for probably a count of 100 approximately that and then I'm going to undo my ties and I'm going to check on how things are looking okay I've been rolling this for some time um, probably five to seven minutes but I count uh, I count to a hundred just to, so I know how long I've been rolling it I lose track of time so that's what I do and I'm going to unroll all of this. Oops, my tool is on the bottom. Um, and we're going to look at it. And as you can see, it's starting to shrink in a little bit. It does come out a little smaller than what you started. I'm not finding it's shrunk that much. Um, so I'm going to just take this and turn it around with the flower side down and start rolling everything up again. So I'll put my tool back on. I'll put my bamboo placemat back on and my pool noodle. And roll everything up again. Put my ties on and roll for another hundred. Okay. And that is 100. Now I'm going to take the ties off again. Take a look at everything. Yeah, it's really becoming a piece of cloth, felt. I'm going to turn it over this time and put everything back on and 
Yes, roll for another hundred. We're finished rolling our project out and now it's time to do some rinsing. So I'm going to take this over to the sink. I have one side of my sink filled with cold water and the other side I'm going to do some hand rinsing. And I'm first going to use hot, hot water and then I'm going to switch to cold. Um, the hot water and then back to cold is a, a shocking process that helps things felt even further. And then we're going to soak it in this side of the sink and we're going to add a little household vinegar to that. This helps um, get the rest of the soap out and we'll be soaking that for 15 minutes. So let's start uh, with the rinsing. So I'm going to take my project and just kind of fold it up like this and I'm going to stick it under this hot water and let the water soak into it. And then I'm going to squeeze it out. Put some more hot water in there. It's very hot. Almost too hot. Do as hot as you can stand. You could wear gloves for this too if the hot water bothers you. And then we're going to switch to cold water. I'm going to squeeze that out. Now that we've rinsed this first in hot water and then in cold water, we're going to soak it for 15 minutes in a sink of cold water and a little vinegar, white vinegar. So I'm going to pour a little vinegar in here, that's probably enough, and I'm going to take my project and lay it in the sink. And I'm going to set my timer for 15 minutes. Now that our project has soaked in 15 minutes in the water and vinegar, I squeezed that out and did a final rinse with plain cold water and now I'm going to take this and sop the rest of the water out of it by rolling it up in a towel. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to squeeze that and get as much water out as I can. Then, I'm going to lay this out on another towel, and I'm going to take my rolling pin, put it in your view better here, and we're going to roll, try to roll out the wrinkles. And what helps with this is a steam iron. I'm going to take my steam iron, and I'm going to lightly go over my project with steam. I'm not pressing hard, I am touching it, but I'm just trying to get the heat into it so that we can manipulate it a little bit. And it also smooths out those wrinkles that get into your project from the wringing out and all the other agitation we put it through. And now, now while it's hot with the steam, I'm going to roll it. Let's see how much of that I can get out. And I'll go over it one more time. Now it'll just lay flat to dry.